and welcome back. And we are moving into our final segment for today as we get all the details about the Valentine Mega Party Concert coming up this weekend. We are joined once again by Cyril Uruwe, who is the owner of Obafu Marketing and Entertainment behind this particular event, and also Tim August, who is the owner of Stone Crab Bar and Grill. Good morning, good morning and welcome. Marlene, Kevin, good morning. Good morning. Um, yeah. Thanks for having us. Um, before we go into anything, I have to, last time hmm. I was here, we forgot to big up our sponsor. Go so ahead. I have first to first so this time express, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to forget <laughs> not expressing appreciation to the people who, who are making it possible. Yeah. So to Premium Wines and Spirit, um, Chalinor Hotel, Angela Spress, J&G Company, and we have supporting sponsors as well. Yes, uh, we have supporting sponsors. Um, Rome Belize, mm -hmm. um, that's a tour company, a local entrepreneur. Um, and we have Untame Belize, and also a and D's Construction, and Uno Gas Station. Mm. Okay. And of course, uh, Stone Crab. Stone Crab, Stone Crab yeah. Can't yeah. forget yourself, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, a Valent I, I think people thought Valentine's was over, but it's not. It's not, it's not. Tell us about this concert. Unfortunately, it didn't fall on the weekend, but yeah. we have to improvise. Uh -huh. um, there are key elements that will make this concert or the, the 16th of February, Dan Greg got a place to be at the Stone Crab. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, the location, right? Um, it's not center of town. It's somewhat secluded, but not far away. Okay. Right? Um, we have great food, mm -hmm. great drinks, and of course, of course, Powerful entertainment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I see the shirts. I see the shirts. Yes, yeah. yes, let's powerful. let's take a moment <laughs> to find out more about Stone Crab Bar and Grill, Tim. Well, um, today is actually a special day, um, Marlene, because um, five years ago on the same day we did the, the grand opening. Wow. And so when um, Cyril accepted to uh -huh. come on board and do this um, Valentine's Bash, uh, we wish we could have done it today, but then usually Stone Crab is known for the weekends and so fri we decided on Friday. But today was a, yesterday was a special day for me because I celebrated my 14th um, wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. And then today yes. is another special day because I'm celebrating five years of being an entrepreneur, um, mm -hmm. Stone Crab. You and like the brewery? And then I tomorrow, <laughs> and then tomorrow is gonna be another special day because yeah. I get to party with my number one artist, Super mm -hmm. G. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and thanks to uh, Cyril for. Um, you know, um, collaborating with me and putting together such a massive show. Yeah. Um, I know it's going to be a lot of fun. Stone Crab is known uh, to be a nice spot for um, mature entertainment. Yeah. Um, we have a different flavor. Um, everything we do is, is different. I try to always keep it um, unique. Um, instead of using flour, for example, instead of using flour, we use breadfruit. So when oh. you go to Stone Crab, you won't get a flour turret here. So for a fajita, you will get a, a slice of breadfruit as, to replace. Did you, you bring get, breadfruit? Well, <laughs> time. <laughs> I, I actually, I actually work. Um, last night we were last night. Um, since it was Valentine's, even though it was our anniversary, I still work until 1.30 this morning. Um, oh, wow. And we were ram jam. So um, if you smell the kitchen still, <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Um, that's why I feel so yeah, hungry. Yeah, <laughs> so, so yeah, we worked until 1.30 this morning. And I, I think um, a compliment that I got is that um, just getting going, taking your partner to, to Stone Crab for Valentine's is, is, is a big deal. That's great. Um, so that, that was good for me. I, had to, I have to postpone my um, whatever I'm going to do until the weekend also. But then mm. I, I, am, I was glad to see people coming out you know, still enjoying, they're still love, they're still, I know, at least a day set aside for that. So why was Stone Crab the best location for this concert? Good, good question. Um, Tim and I, we've crossed paths several times. Yeah. And passingly, we talk about collaborating. Mm -hmm. you know, we should do X, Y, Z, and like, yeah, yeah, someday. Um, eventually, after the, the last event that I did, Tim invited me, he said, hey, you should come have dinner at Stone Crab. Mm -hmm. He said, dinner on me. I said, oh, everybody <laughs> likes <Yeah. you> <laughs> <laughs> So, but I, I think he tricked me into it, though. Yeah. Right? So he, he prepared something really different, mm -hmm. right? And I told him, well, I'll pick it up, and I'll have to just head back to the hotel. I sat there. I asked the, the 
waitress to, you know, just put it on a plate and whatever I don't eat, I'll take it with mm -hmm. me. I eat everything. <laughs> I, I don't care, nothing with me at hotel. So I said that's how he tricked me into oh. it. Um, I checked out the location, Tim gave me a tour. Um, he has always been improving the place, yeah. right? And what I like about it is that he, he has, he, he managed to keep the naturalness, so to speak. Mm -hmm. He, he yeah, used the trees. The, yeah. um, if you check it out during the night, it's, it's really lovely. We have the VIP section. And then we have the large general area where it's, it's outdoors, but it's, you know, nice contained and everything. So that's one of the main reasons why, why Stone Crab. And then we have great food. Yeah. Great we're, famous, we're famous for wings. I, I used to, um, how I got well known, I used to, I, they say you have to freely give, freely receive. So uh, in Dangriga, you know, it's, it's, it's a small town and, and, you know, it's not... Um, the, the economic growth is slower than other districts, but what I did is I, I, I used to send my food to, to different um, promoters. I would send it to Dala on his show. I would send it to anybody, anybody uh -huh. that I could actually taste, and, and that is how. And we have a sauce that they actually call the Obia sauce. <laughs> 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 because literally, once you taste it, you got to come back for more. <laughs> wow. You brought so, some? Yeah, well, <laughs> I, 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 at the end of the show, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find out how to get it to you. Yeah. Because I, I'm sure your taste buds are. I are, know. are, 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 are uh, you, you talk know. about breadfruit and <laughs> yeah. wings and Obia yes, sauce. In, in Dangriga, it should be the culture capital. Yeah. And um, although I'm not originally from Dangriga, I'm from Esperanza. In the Kaya district, I migrated to Dangria back in '98, so I am my my kids are born, are born there. I, I you know so I decided to go traditional. So when you go, you, we barely buy fries by the bag. Um, we, you're gonna get cassava, cassava fries. You're gonna get banana fries. You're gonna get plantain mm. fries. You're gonna get breadfruit. I do breadfruit fajitas, quesadillas, burger, nachos, everything breadfruit I do. So I have a page, um, Stone Crab Grill and Bar. So if you check out that page, you'll see all the amazing things. And um, every day, we have a small menu, only about six or seven items. But the, the, the part is that I have my customers, is every day they want to know what will be in my special. Because that's, that's what I do. Creativity, you know, every day I try to come up with something new. new. So then every day the customers will say, before they do order from anywhere else, or if they're not going to cook, let me see what Tim is grilling up, you know. Um, last year I came to the grill master competition um, here at Benny's and mm -hmm. I brought everything traditional from Dangriga. Um, I only placed third my first time but this year I, I intend to take that <laughs> title right. back to Dangriga. So yes, um, so great food, great drinks and we try to, um, I am also an um, advocate for Moringa. I don't know if you guys know about mm -hmm. Moringa. Uh, I'm an advocate for Moringa so um, what we're trying to do is convert from that fast food yeah. to to a healthier, li healthier lifestyle, so we would, you know. And now you get to add that you're going to be an entertainment spot too, because yeah. you have the concert coming up yes. there. Well, before we used to be uh, do a lot of entertainment, yeah. but then um, it it basically got out of hand. We used to host up to 400 people at a time, um, big big shows. But um, I used to have a big stage, Super G, all those guys. Every artist is in Dangriga has performed there. Um, but it, it became too big for me and um, to, for one person to manage. So when Cyril decided to come on board, I said, okay, I can do the food and the drinks and Cyril can do the promotion. <laughs> 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 so yeah, so now we, I'm going to definitely, um, we're going to kick off and do some nice events this year. You might, have, so, uh -huh. you might have a big crowd this week because, I mean, NEBL is having games on that side, yeah. so some of the crowd from over there, this is probably the best place to go after the game. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. definitely. We are very so popular. Like, yeah, yes. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks for your input. <laughs> I, I, wish I, I wish I had as much money in the bank as popularity. <laughs> <laughs> we are very popular because I keep promoting. Um, yeah. You know, I, I would always try to give back and um, I remember one Christmas I, 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 I was so into promoting that I um, gave away the ham and turkey for my house and then we had to go and eat. <laughs> Are you still married? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, now sometimes I will get, you know, pissed off at me, said, you, you, you know, but then I, I believe in that you give and you get back, you yeah. know, you have to always um, be promoting no matter, I always say that um, Coca-Cola is one of the best selling drinks in, in the world, you know, 
um, but they still promote, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I follow that concept that you need to promote, you need to promote, you can't stop. Not because you're selling a hundred, it means that you'll stop promoting, you know. And once young entrepreneurs follow that, you work hard and you promote, you work hard, you promote. At the end, at some point, you'll be successful, you know. I like your lineup. Sweet pain band. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I'm sure it's going to be rocking. I'm going to have a lot of cleaning up this to do Saturday morning. Is, yeah. <laughs> Talk to us about this letter. Yeah. Um, this is the non stop party. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's, it's ongoing. Uh, when, when Tim approached me, he gave me an idea. I said, well, whatever Obafo Entertainment put its stamp on, it has to be. It mm. has to be classy, it has mm -hmm. to be powerful, mm -hmm. right? So um, it's not only about the lineup, it's also about collaborating with the artists yeah. and, and what to expect, it's Valentine's. So they will make it really unique, Valentine's like. You mean they'll Valentine's have a, a slow dance portion for people? Yeah, Valentine's I mean you have the lovers that rock. you almost like extinct now. Yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> so you'll you have that moment and then you, you, you pump the beat more, All the pass right. a beat later in, yeah. in the night. Um, we have DJ Dixie from Wave Radio, um, Mohabob Flores, um, yeah. the cool ruler. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody know Moh Mohabob to be, uh, you know, he's, he's fit for this event. Um, Super G. I don't think I need to say much when it comes <laughs> to Super G, the general. Um, TR Shine, what I like about him, he has the ability to, to sing all, all this. Right? Versatile. All, yeah, he's very versatile. So he's perfect for this lineup. And of course, Lloyd. Lloyd is another yeah. international dynamic artist. Yeah. So you're going to get some paranga? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It, it will be a mixture, but unique. So we have something for everyone. It's this Friday, and this what's Friday. the cost? The doors open at 9, mm -hmm. um, ladies enter $10 before 11. Mm -hmm. um, after 11, it's $15 for women, since it's Valentine's, <laughs> and then men, $20. We also have the VIP section. Um, all this information in case I miss anything. Mm -hmm. No, go ahead. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, all this information in case I miss anything is on our website at obafo.bz. Or you could visit the Facebook page at Obafo Entertainment. So what comes with this VIP package? With the VIP, we have fast, unlimited internet um, powered by smart. Um, you, of course, we have the, the upper deck. Only VIP, um, people who pay for the VIP tickets yeah. are allowed. Um, you get your first drink, complimentary. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Tim, am I missing anything? Professional, professional photo. photo. Yes, man, you get your photo. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We have it right yeah. up there. Yeah. You have, you get your photo taken professionally. All right. So. Priority entrance. Exactly. Right. Priority entrance. So that's what you get um, yeah. in the VIP section. And, and this little upper deck is unique. I mean, um, you have to have the seat to believe. Yeah. I have a 90 by 65. Um, it's on a 90 by 65 uh, piece of land and I have 45 trees growing in that. So there's trees coming out of the bathroom, there's trees <laughs> coming out of the dining, there's trees coming out of the bar. Yeah. And then that, that's a lower deck. And then on the top, then I just built in the trees. So the stage is actually in the trees, so oh, <laughs> it, wow. you, you, you would always feel like there's an earthquake up there. So it's best, <laughs> it's best you dance. <laughs> it, it's very unique because I, I, you know, eventually we want to do. I have a lot of birds and, and you know iguanas and a lot of. I'm still lucky to be living in a in the Carib Reserve of Dangriga. Yeah. You know, a very majestic area. There's a big lagoon there, so I have a lot of flora and fauna. So. Um, eventually, hopefully, um, we need tourism back in Dangriga, and that's the focus right now to start building something, and um, so we could get that magnet back as tourism can happen in Dangriga. But um, lack of things like places for tourists to visit, and so it, it, you know, is it, you know not attracting them. So one of my goals is hopefully young entrepreneurs are coming up. Um, I got to big up Julie Zelaya. Um, Chris, um, you know, a whole bunch of younger um, uh, guys and, and girls that are investing now, seeing the potential of tourism. Um, we have a mega, um, we want to invite everybody to Dangriga for Easter. Mm -hmm. You know, we have mm. a prime location. Yeah. 
um, that we're setting up for Easter and maybe we'll come back another time and then I'll yeah. bring wings yes. and everything yes. and bread definitely <laughs> <laughs> bread to talk about that we will not be but definitely <laughs> <by the> gates. <laughs> definitely our aim is to attract this year to attract people yeah. for Easter to Dangriga um, the place is looking a lot better um, you know we have the big auditorium now mm -hmm. so um, I'm seeing the light at yeah. the end of the tunnel for Dangriga mm -hmm. so I'm looking at the quality of even the tickets Mm -hmm. You guys seem to be very well prepared. Yeah. Um, if you think we're going to have 400 people, you think? It's well, be we're aiming for seven. So if we get four, we're going <laughs> <laughs> to. The, yeah. the, 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 the key thing is, though, um, while in business, you always have to look out for profit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but with Ubafu Entertainment, and I'm sure with Stone Crab, mm. it's about quality, quality. first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we want to deliver quality entertainment. Mm -hmm. and, but. We're very optimistic as yeah. well that we will, that's, we will have a crowd. That's yeah. one of my motto at Stone Crab. We don't sell fast food, we sell good food. Uh, All right. So some people the quality are, is yeah. important. And people yeah. have learned that, that they, they don't, we don't, um, when, if you order something, we don't have it made already. It, it's going to be made. made to so order. Yeah, made to order. So yeah, that's one of our thing and we try to keep a good, um, you know, consistency is key for me. Um, you know, I try to hire just locals and training people. I myself am self-taught, you know. Yeah. Um, my See, wife my hair, you also do great drinks. Well, <laughs> uh -huh. I'm getting nervous now, so uh -huh. I, I hope right. I don't spill okay, the so drinks. We'll, we'll send Tim over to the bar. Mm -hmm. You can go over there and set up because we're going to make, we're going to get some of the Stone Crab special drinks. Yeah, well, I'm just going to do yeah. one. Um, because I don't want uh, this, everybody in the studio to get too... <laughs> 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 Alright, so he's going to head over to the bar and Cyril is going to give us uh, the final details for, sure. for the show. Sure. Yeah, Yeah. so um, before we leave, we have giveaways, oh. right? And um, they could go on Obafo Entertainment, mm -hmm. Obafo.bz that is, and the um, Facebook page, Obafo Entertainment, mm -hmm. to find out more about the giveaways. Uh, we have a package for a couple, we're okay. giving away a flight for two, courtesy oh. of Maya Island here. Mm -hmm. um, VIP entrance for two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tim has uh, actually Tim has a, a list that um, we're also giving away yeah. as well. So, but go on the website for more details about the giveaway. Most importantly, though, mm -hmm. for the couples, we're asking our audience to nominate a couple. Oh. Right? Nominate a couple and the person who gets the most likes by 6 p.m. this evening will be selected and their couple will win a packet. And we will also have giveaways at the event as well. So it'll be fully loaded. All right. Yeah. So it sounds like Dangriga is a place to be this weekend. Definitely. Now, here's the thing. If you messed up or you didn't do good yesterday for Valentine's Day, <laughs> drive down yeah. to Dangriga, and this can be the, the cherry on top. That Definitely. describes nobody. Everybody <laughs> picked up home run yesterday. Exactly. I don't know. You never know, right? Or maybe, you know, you, you, you just started your relationship today. Who knows? And you didn't get the chance, that chance to celebrate Valentine's Day. The point is, it's the weekend, and people want to make the most of it. And we Absolutely. know that you put a lot into the shows that you promote and it's a great Belizean lineup um, of or top artists and it's gonna I'm sure it's gonna be a great night of entertainment Definitely. and of course people will want those uh, breadfruit and and obia Banana. wings what is it? obia sauce obia sauce oh and for those for our early birds mm -hmm. we will have inter cultural and ent entertainment as well mm -hmm. so while you're sitting eating Having a drink, mm -hmm. we have live cultural entertainment, um, and then we roll into the music mm -hmm. entertainment. All right, so Kevin's gonna go over there because I see shots, so I'll see. Yeah, free side. drinks. Yeah. Let's yeah. search that down. I see shot glasses, so I'll be on this side. <laughs> and right. Tim will tell you about what he's making. So this falls in. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, so. Am I live? You are live. <laughs> okay. I'm That's a bit nervous, so usually I do this for a lot of people, but um, you know, first time doing this on live TV, so please just bear with me. If I make an error, well, Tim, Tim, all if, right, you, so if you think you're nervous, imagine how nervous I am, because <laughs> after I drink right. one of these, I have to go to court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, what, this is one of, my, one of my specials that I do. 
um, and I do my record for these is 15. Wow. Um, but today for the show, I just decided to limit myself and just do five. Um, and what we'll do, like if we, if somebody's having a birthday at Stone Crab, or they just want to come and do a birthday shots, then um, this is one of the setup that I would do the entire bar. And then um, if you have a party of, let's say, all your friends, girlfriends, uh, male friends would line up by the bar and then we will label all the cups, right? So this cup will be for one person and I will tell you individually what is your cup, right? And um, then, I would, then I would prepare the shots. Normally I prepare it from scratch, but I just did this part because it's nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you right? call it? Well, um, it's, a, it's a bomb. So this is, today we're gonna call it, this is gonna, I'm gonna be using um, Campari to do this shot and big up, um, you know, this one of our sponsors. Um, and this would be more um, a guy thing. They, they like what? Campari, but, because um, <laughs> it's like a bitters. But um, what I did is now I, I, I got the ladies to start drinking it because sweeten it a little. I sweeten it a little uh, bit, so you have a sweet and sour. So this is gonna be blended, and then w when it falls in, it's gonna blend. And then, so then you get that twist of sweet and sour, so you just don't get that, uh, that bitter taste. Um, but a lot of people like the bitter rather than sweet, so I just went ahead and mixed it and did both. So well, the setup itself looks exciting. Yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna prepare these cup. It's very popular. Yes, and and people would ask for this, and then instead of taking just straight tequila shots or whatever, I just I try to add a twist to it. So normally I would get the birthday person. Um, to, to pull the trigger, right? But today we don't <laughs> have any birthday person and I know you're nervous too, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, normally, it's as soon as the cup fall in, you grab your cup and you heads up, right? So this is gonna make a bit of a Wait, mess because that's... that's what's, what's in the, the bottom? The, the, this is a little bit of soda, right? It's just to blend and then it fizzes when, the, when it mixes. So I'm gonna pull the trigger and hope that it, that it works the way I want, right? Oh, come on, let me abandon us on this one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, take take today, right? <laughs> I well, Let's pull the trigger and see what happens here, right? <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, we that have an error. That is definitely a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so normally it would, you know, flow all 15 down, and then everybody would just grab and, and, and shoot. shoot, right? So that would be, that was my intention. All right, so that's that's. Uh, and you say you do 15 of them? Yes, I do up to 15. And sometimes when I'm really in the mood, I, I do. You can twist them so that it looks even more unique. <laughs> you know. I hope you have lots of designated drivers after this. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that's right. one of them. And then um, this is one of my. This drink is one of my most the best seller. I think I've sold uh, enough of this to probably if I had saved, I would open another spoon crab. Right no. <laughs> And this is the famous. <laughs> this is the famous snake bite. And today, snake bite. Yes. <laughs> and we we are set up in the jungle. <laughs> Stone crab is in the jungle. We have a lot of trees and everything. So I, the name of the drinks I, I incorporate with the with the location, right? So you'll get drinks like jungle fever, snake bite, you know, things like that. So today we're going to be using the sky vodka, right? The tourists must love this. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them call it sky juice, so, so it's a perfect, perfect time to use. So I'm gonna be using a shot of that, okay. and then some apple juice from one of our local CPBL. Okay. And then I'm adding a little bit of Sprite. They're gonna steal the recipe, you know. <laughs> well, I have a trick to this that I'm not showing, so... <laughs> and then I add a little bit of blood for the snake bite. And then I add my cherry. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. And then I usually top it off with that. So you're going to be trying this one? Yeah, that's a little sip. <laughs> Just don't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> So 
It's fresh. That's it's nice. real refreshing. refreshing. Yeah, very refreshing. Real, really refreshing. And dangerous too. This snake yes. bite. It, it it lives up to its name, you know. Yeah. Um, you don't taste the alcohol. You don't taste the alcohol. Very smooth. Very smooth. Very, and very you smooth. You can drink it as a virgin drink. Well, this, you'd love this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So then another one that I do. That is, it's a, it's about basically the same about the same thing, but I just I just turn it up a notch. All right, and we go. And I do these with with. It can be a margarita style, it can be um, in different ways, but I'm going to use the same format just so we don't use too much thing today. Yeah, so it again. Yeah. Can be this one is called? Well, this is just an up upgrade version. Double snake bite. Yeah. That's a cool brother. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is the anaconda now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're upping it a bit. Yeah, I do a lot of drinks. This is this is what I, this is one of my pastime. I love doing this. So this is your recipe. You came yes. up with it. Yes. Yes. Right. right. So then this this one is just to if the guys want to spend a little bit more rather than getting the ordinary, we go to the and then some people will just get one of this for the night. All right, and then we add that and then. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, and then, yeah. and then we could we turn this down in it. So now you got double. <laughs> yeah, I see. Wow. Yeah. 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 So you got you got, and this this will flow, and it it's almost um the the blend of this and this is very unique. Okay. So you you get a Smirnoff going uh, going with it with the snake bite, or you can do it as a as a margarita, yeah. which we call a Smirnarita. Or you can do it with the beer, which you call a beerita. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's a lot of ways. So this is this is one of this our. This is sure one. This is one way to impress. Yeah. This is this is one. You did to be impressed with that. Yeah. So <laughs> this definitely, we sell we sell these and these will be available tomorrow. All right. Yeah. So that looks like the drink people will be having for for Valentine's yes, Day. Yeah. Tim and Cyril will want to say thank you for coming in and giving us all the details. We have to mm. go ahead and take our final break. And we will be back in a few. Stay tuned. Okay. Nice. Let me try this again. <laughs>